Hey, what's going on, my friends? It's your boy, Dave Shop, and I am coming to you live from the beaches of Florida. As you can see, I'm not actually at a beach, but it's not too far away. It's not too far away. So, my friends, we got somebody who is on the show this morning who I believe, I believe they are not from the beaches of Florida, if I'm um, not mistaken. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Welcome, my friend, to the show. And Venus, welcome to the show, my friend. Welcome. Uh, thank you for having me, Dave. You're very welcome. Um, do your friends call you at Venus? Is that the is in tell me where you're from and in where is that name? Where is that name from? It's a name that I've never heard before. Yes, yeah, so my name is Ed Venus. I'm from Lithuania. Nice. It's it's, on, it's, it's in Europe. Mm -hmm. Baltic countries, you know, some yeah. people don't know, but it's Lithuania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I know about it. And um, it's actually uh, it's actually um, w the world is learning more about that area of the world. Obviously, I think because of what's going on over there. How far away are you from Ukraine? Um, not so far away. We have a border between Belarus yeah and then and then belarus and then ukraine how do you but, feel with what everything that's going on over there on that side of the world yeah it's actually overwhelming you know it's it's not fun to have a war going on uh, so you know not far away mm. so it's a little bit concerning but i think uh, it's going to be all right well, I think the Ukrainians are going to kick their ass. Yes. And that's why it's going to be okay. I mean, there's sometimes somebody needs an ass whooping in life. Uh, I'm not a. I'm. I don't like violence at all. Everything before violence, but my God, my thoughts and 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 wishes are that Ukrainian puts the smack down on those sons of bitches. But anyways, let's move on because we're not here to talk about that. Um, but my Lord, uh, it's really nice to talk to somebody who um, is is from a totally different part of the world. And it's, man, it, you know, we all think that w it's just I love to put try to put myself in other people's shoes and just imagine what it's be what it's what it's like for you, what it's been like for you to start your business over in Lithuania. I mean, I know what it's been like for me to start it in 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 um, St. Petersburg, Florida you know, but tell us a little bit about your journey and then how eventually you came to find Legendary. All right. So I started my journey since 2017, uh, 2018. Uh, I was interested in spirituality and stuff. You know, I created my accounts, Instagram, because of spirituality. I was interested about energy, you know, that woo-woo stuff. But uh, later on, I realized, you know, that woo woo stuff, you know, it, it cannot work without the money, without the business. You know, you have to come back to the earth, you know, learn about the technical stuff, you know, learn about money, about business. That's why we are here. So um, I found you guys, Legendary, on TikTok. And I'm actually very glad I, I saw a girl and she was talking about Legendary. I was like, whoa. That resonates with me because when you're feeling that energy, it's something, you know, you know, like it feels like home. Okay, I decided to try it. Wow, and eventually it worked really well for me. Yeah, so... Uh, Sorry, we're just sending a message. Um, so you started off in spirituality. Yes. You realized that... Um, you needed a product or that other people out there seeking spirituality needed to learn about money? I wasn't, were you saying that that niche you were having a hard time monetizing and finding products to sell or what exactly, how did you, how did you, are you still in the, the personal development and spirituality yes. niche? Okay. Okay. That's the missing. Yes. So you're still in multiple niches, including yes. spirituality you're also, you say you're doing some make money online. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Any other niches that you're currently operating in? Uh, I'm on personal development. I'm okay. on making, make online, make money online. And okay. also on spiritual side. 
So at the moment I'm doing tarot readings, uh, spiritual stuff. No, I love it. But also I love to, to make business plans, you know, all that stuff to make money, to learn uh, all that kind of stuff, you know, personal development, motivation, that, that that's what's motivating me. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Well, this is great. We're talking to somebody who's now, you know, who's, who's operating in multiple niches. So what, what, what did you learn here at Legendary and what are you doing since coming in contact with us that's working maybe that you weren't doing before? Uh, so what I'm doing, I'm actually implementing all my spiritual strategies, that manifestation strategies in this business, you know, to, to make that money and actually live that dreams, you know, to travel all, all around the world. So. What I'm doing is actually uh, learning about the business uh, from my spiritual side. You know, you know, I have to operate between those two. <laughs> That's actually a quite challenge, but um, I really love it. So I can share a little bit, you know, my strategy and uh, my manifesting story. So. Uh, Dave, I cannot hear you. Oh, that's because I just muted myself. Yeah, go. <laughs> I, I just keep doing that because I want to make sure it's crystal clear for them to hear you. So, yeah, let's go over a bit of your strategy. So, I think the number of one thing is to be consistent. That's the number one thing for me because if, if I would not be consistent, I wouldn't be here today. And and another thing is visualization. It's like you have to know where you're heading. You have to have some goals where you're heading because if you're not, you're like that ant going between the trees. You know, <laughs> you have to know where you're heading. Yeah. So, yes, that's that's the main reason why I'm here. Well, that's that's um, I'm pulling up some of your your a couple of your accounts right now. These must be a couple of the accounts that you had started back in 2017. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. OK. How have you changed your content or what have you changed about the strategy since being a part of Legendary? Have you started to use a sales funnel and you've started to, to do affiliate marketing? So you're monetizing these or are you? Is there something different about the content that you're that you're doing differently? What are you doing? What sort of tips can you give people that um, are working really well, or that you've discovered have worked really well, or that you're now doing differently that's working really well? Give us some give us some strategy tips of how you've grown these accounts because you've got you know this positive life secrets on Instagram. You've got abundance underscore magnet, both of which have over a hundred thousand followers, and then over on TikTok, you've got uh, wealth coached win, and then you've got Edwin digital marketer. So, um, out of these four, do you want me to pull up one in particular, and uh, do you want to talk about some of the spirituality ones for a second? Just what's working right now, and I want to talk about if somebody was to get started with a an account today. Uh, what would you do differently today that you did uh, when you started? Mm. Yeah, so um, what I think about is um, people really love motivation stuff and that personal development stuff. So when I started, it was like spirituality, like positive mm, messages, you know, I right. started from here. And then I realized that people love motivating and motivating stuff, motivating um messages and etc i have a lot of uh, videos that i reposted yeah. from other people and they love right. it actually that's win-win situation because they love it because they share and i love it because i can reshare that message with the world and right. that's what works guys you know people love to see that entertainment and yeah. actually uh, sometimes i post an ad that's going to my affiliate link right. of you yeah and then uh, the magic happens so not, so people love to see that motivation content and then they're willing to take action because of that you know they're saying enough is enough 
I want to do something. <laughs> right, right, right. And it's such a simple strategy, right? It's it's really how the biggest accounts in the world grow. And I'm glad we have somebody here who we can talk about it with because it is a it is a you have to be careful when you're using other people's content. First of all, you have to make sure that you give proper credit. So how let's start with the absolute basics. How do you repost somebody else's content? without you know infringing on copyrights or how do you know what content you can repost and what you can't and what do you need to do if you decide to repost somebody else's content use a video maybe that's already been going viral and you just want to take advantage of that and and post it on your profile and get some of that 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 viral love maybe where what do i need to make sure that i do if i want to use somebody else's content yeah, so you need to reach out to to, the, to those creators because uh, you have to maintain a relationship. And sometimes, uh, if you don't ask, you have to put that uh, you know uh, message that DM you if you don't want to this message to be in this page, you know, and I will remove it. You know, you have to make cl crystal clear and make sure that this content belongs to them and not yours. You know, people must see that. Okay. Okay. So what about, what about also just giving credit? I mean, because that's, I see that you've done that in your post right here. You said credit to the blessed woman underscore X. If you give somebody credit like this, do you also need to reach out to them and say, Hey, can I repost your content? Because what if they reposted the content from somebody else and it's not even their original piece of content? Yeah, so you need to always to reach out to them, and uh, sometimes they don't like uh, if you post that content, and that's okay. You just remove it, and you know it's sometimes you have to be aware of that because some people uh, don't don't like to to that that content to be reposted. But most of the time they do like it, right? Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> right. they, they like it. Most of the time they do like it. Can I just tag somebody instead of reaching out to them? Can I just say credit and just tag them like you did here and not reach out to them? You can do it, but you know, to be extra safe, you can reach out and say, you know, thank you. You have a lot, a lot of great content. I love your energy. Uh, can I repost your content and just do it? And if they don't like what, uh, if you post that video, if they don't like it that's okay. You just remove it. But right. most of the times it's completely all right. 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 Most of the time. And I let's explain this. So everybody understands it. Most of the time I'm going to be fine with you posting my video, especially if you're giving credit right here, because now people can click over to what, to my profile, which <laughs> I don't know if I'm not logged in or they're not there, but, um, but usually I can go over to somebody else's profile. Okay. I can click through to somebody else's profile and I'm going to get traffic there um, because of somebody else's post. Right. So I'm going to get traffic to, to my, to my website because of, you know, because somebody else reposted my stuff. So I, I, I love the fact that you're using other people's content in a way that is um, you know, that, that, where you're giving proper credit or you're reaching out to somebody and you're saying what I would do just so everybody, if, if everybody's, cause I, I've done similar things in the past, I would just say, I would tag the person. And then I, if I, if I wanted to be extra safe, I would send them a message that says, Hey, I just reposted one of your videos. Love your content. Let me know if you, you know, you want me to take it down for any reason. I would just set, see guys, here's my strategy with business is shoot first, ask questions later, right? So a lot of you are hearing this and I just, I want to give you very crystal clear, a shoot first, ask questions later strategy, because 99.9% .9 of people are going to be happy that you reposted their content as long as you give proper credit. Edvina, would you, would you agree with that? Yes, definitely. Perfect. How do you get somebody else's content off of their profile so you can then post it onto your profile? Uh, 
most of the videos are from TikTok, mm -hmm. so you have to copy the link and just uh, go to the website and just download it. Download that video. Is there a and particular one that you use? I'm just. I'm. It is that Snaptic app, I think. Oh, okay. You're right, right, right. I got you. Right, right, right. You're, you're yeah, putting this. In, yes. Snaptic. Right, right. Exactly. Okay. So not only so Snaptic is the tool. Man, this tool has like golly, they must be getting a lot of traffic because like yeah. so many people on our in our community are using this tool, man. It's really something. All right. So anybody's content, you can go and get it off of their profile and and take the the and, and folks, just so you understand, let's go over here to um, I don't know, one of my one of my old time not friends, but just somebody that I know. Um, crap. All right, something is wrong with my Instagram here. All right. We're going to go over here to somebody who has been posting content, you know, for a long time, is very well known in the industry. And um, now he's posting maj the majority of his content is, is coming from his podcast. But this guy grew his account through the same strategy. You could go deep down in there and um, and find it. Uh I'm trying to find other people that I know have grown their 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 channels this way so we could have some examples. There's the um there's the monk. What is his name? He's the he's the guy who used to be a monk and now he um now he creates personal development content. I forgot what his name is. I think it's uh, Jay Shetty. Jay oh. Shetty, right? Yes, exactly. Yes. Exactly. Jay Shetty. So he's another guy. Um who built a lot of his content and, and you can see the way a lot of his stuff, they do all kinds of creative stuff. Um, they even act things out sometimes, but a lot of his content, as you can see, and he's even got it somewhat organized here to where every third post he posts like an inspirational piece of content. And then every third post, he posts something with his face in it. And then every third post, he posts a like some sort of an inspirational, um, you know, uh, a statement or you know, sentence, phrase, motivational phrase. Um, but but you know, this is a great example of of another person, another account who has absolutely capitalized off of viral content, other people's viral content, and you can see that that he said via. And he just ta he didn't even tag. He just said via Angie Marie underscore 1977 on TikTok. You know, so he's given credit that way. I'll tell you another person who does this and has absolutely, absolutely blown up to over 70 million followers is the Snoop D-O-double-G, folks. The chronic one. The one who... <laughs> <laughs> there's not a lot of whole lot of people who smoke more blunts than this guy, but somehow he and his team have grown his account to over 74 million followers, mostly using other people's content. Now at Venus, I have pulled up a couple of powerful examples. What do you say about these, these influencers and celebrities who are doing the same thing? Yeah, they're rocking, man. You know, they're getting <laughs> a lot of traffic in this way. People love it. They are watching the videos, and you know that's that's great to to build your account to to millions of followers this way. And and Snoop, by the way, is never in any of his videos talking. Occasionally, he's in one, smoking a blunt, listening to you know some music, but it's not like he's actually talking. Every single post. This is clearly ran not by Snoop, but somebody who knows what they're doing. And they've just, you know, why would a celebrity want a big account so they can, you know, tell people where their next concert dates are so they can sell, sell their swag, all this kind of stuff. But it's the same exact strategy that Advina is talking about right now. And you can, if you look hard enough, um, quite frankly, probably a lot of the accounts that you follow are using a similar strategy. What else should we know? What else can we learn from you today about this strategy? How about, 
the multiple accounts. Why do you, Advina, why do you have multiple accounts? Is that legal? Is that okay? Um, or would somebody be crazy to only have one account? Could you speak to that a little bit? Uh, yeah, so I think you can have uh, as many accounts as you want. Uh, maybe there are some kind of rules, but, uh, you know, uh, that's what's working. You know, the more accounts you have, the more traffic you're going to get. And this is my profitable mindset account. I started this uh, this year because I didn't know anything about TikTok. Mm. Uh, I was only on Instagram. So TikTok, that's all, always my original content here. Okay. Uh, and here I post, you know, uh, the content. That's my original content. I'm trying new things, experiment what's working. And I see that it's, it's really good that people love that motivation. You know, they love entertainment. That's what's working, guys. You know, they're watching that. And even if you have two accounts, three accounts, four accounts, and you post the same videos, you know, you get more traffic into your uh, pages and that's that's what's going to work with you guys yeah it really makes a lot of sense as i'm sitting here listening to this and as i ho as i'm hoping that everybody else is you sitting here saying to yourself why do i only have one account <laughs> right i mean you got to be listening to this thinking, why do I only have one account if you only have one account? Because it's like, you're right. You just double your traffic, you know? I mean, maybe you do. Maybe you don't double your traffic, but you're, you're able to test different things. And I think that's what's really so cool about this is exactly your strategy where on this page you're doing nothing but testing your own content. So you're, you're dialing in your messaging. You're, you're telling your story, you're getting, you're, you're still, and you're getting a benefit from it. You're still driving traffic and likely making sales from this. But if, but then over here in these other accounts, you've got, you know, the other style content that you, you want to create, you want to create just very generic spirituality, or you want to, you want to create, um, you know, very generic, uh, that, that, a, that's not specific to your own story. Um, you know, financial advice or business. It's just, it, it also gives you a place to try and test different things, right? That's what I'm seeing. Yes. That, that with only one profile, you might begin to confuse the messaging if you tried to do everything on one profile. Do you agree with that? And yes, definitely. That's that's exactly what I'm doing. And actually, when I post the videos on TikTok, and when I see the video are going viral, I repost that video on my Instagram accounts, and people will love more because the video was performing really well on TikTok. And that's why this video is probably going to work out also on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Brittany says, with accounts like this, are we still putting our links in the bio? Or is it more of getting the follow and randomly adding your link in, like more at a later time? What would you? How would you answer that question? So I put uh, the link on my bio. Uh, you know, you, you'll still have traffic and also... You can have some kind of ads, you know, you can put your anything in your profile. You can post any kind of shit, you know, you can post the ad and people will come to your link. You know, the traffic will flow. If you if you attract the people in your page with that environment stuff, with that entertainment stuff, it's going to blow up. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. You can't overthink it. You know what I mean? Right. It's, it's, you can't overthink it. You can't overthink your content. You got to just, you got to move, especially somebody like you who has multiple accounts that you're managing. You can't, you can't overthink it, right? You got to post it. You got to, so how do you make decisions about what to post? How do you, when you're researching, when you're like, what is a process from finding a piece of content to posting a piece of content look like for you? So, when I'm a spiritual person, I always think and feel what the next step will be, what people will like, you know. If you mess up with the content, people will sense that this content is not really good, you know. You have to find what people like, what kind of motivation content like, you know. You have to be more empath, you know, to feel what 
what our people is going to like and yeah. if and if they like that content you know it's going to be really good you know people will reach out to you you'll say how to do that stuff how to make that stuff you know you're giving value to other people they, and they will likely to to maintain a relationship this way because you reply to their message and probably will you know you make that business partner or whatever so yeah, yeah you, you have to to put energy in and uh, effort to do that because you know um attention is actually you know our the most greatest asset you know people people are bombarded with all the things in the internet you know yeah. and you you have to know which content you know people will like and um, well, you yeah. got to read the room, right? I mean, read the room. Te yes. What's going on in the world? What's going on in people's lives right now? You know, I mean, part of it is about, yes, being an empath, but trying to just put yourself in other people's shoes. But one of the best places you can start is just what are you feeling? How do you feel? How do you think? Are you frustrated? Are you in pain? Are you afraid? Well, all those feelings that you're having, that's the best way to relate to other people is to just talk about that because likely they're having them too. And you can say, well, hey, look, I didn't think I had enough money for retirement. And so I wanted to start learning new skills. Maybe you might want to too. I don't know, but this was what I was afraid of. And you, you really don't have to be a mind reader or even an empath to, to, to do that because you're, you're, you're simply, you are your best customer. You are your customer. You know what your customer is thinking because, because they're thinking the same things you thought. You know what your customer's feeling because they're, they're feeling the same things that you felt or are still feeling. Why? Well, because we're human beings, right? And so... It's it's relating to people, I think, is is we overcomplicate it. But at Venus, you're absolutely right. It's the most important thing, because if somebody listens or reads or whatever my content and it in and, and it rubs them the wrong way or it's like it'd be like it'd be like posting a, a picture of, of of an assault rifle on on a on a national holiday that 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 that, that you know, that was like a Memorial day for people that had been murdered by guns. You know, it's like people don't read the room that we, we have to understand and, un, you know, you have to understand what's going on out in the world and just pay attention to what's going on in your own life. You know, people right now in, in the world, which is weird because we were just in a, in a crazy market. Well, we've got a war going on over on one side of the world. We've got, you know, a recession that's about to hit the world. I mean, people are, I'll tell you what people need right now is they they really need to upgrade their skills. They really need to upgrade their skill sets and stop relying on other people. Uh, and I'll tell you, that scares me that I don't have enough skills that I that I that that. So you know, you should be afraid too <laughs> that you don't have enough skills, right? It, it, it's so easy to relate to people when I look at just my own fears in my own life story, then I can start talking and connecting with people uh, easier. And, and Ed Venus, that's what I found is, you know, I just have found that when I tell my story occasionally, not all the time, but occasionally to my followers and I let them know a little bit more about who I am and, and, and kind of why I'm doing what I'm doing, that's a great opportunity for me to bond with them too and I can give them edutainment content 90% of the time, you know, where it's just educational and entertainment. It doesn't have to be about my story and it doesn't even have to be about me. But one out of every, you know, occasionally it's good. You're right to, to, to humanize yourself and to, and to, and to show compassion to your audience. And I, I really think at Venus, you talk about spirituality, you talk about, you know, being empathic. I really think this whole marketing and sales thing comes right down to that right there. It's not about a special trick. It's not about a special thing you're going to say that's going to make somebody buy from you. 
It's about them feeling safe with you. It's about them feeling comfortable watching your content. It's about them feeling safe, like you care, like, you know what I mean? Like you get it, like they're under, if they don't feel like you understand them, they're not going to buy from you. So it's also about showing compassion, showing that you understand what they're going through. And people will just throw money at you if they feel understood and if they feel like you get them, unlike probably most of their you know friends and family who usually our friends and family can sometimes be the most unsupportive or we feel the most criticized by them. So that's why human beings are, it's not just in this industry. Human beings are always searching for validation and love and understanding. Again, because a lot of times we don't feel that in our own homes from our own, you know, friends and family. I'm serious. Just it's it's so true. So w- what do we do when we start a business? What's the biggest complaint that a lot of people have? Well, I'm not getting support from my friends and family. It's because it's easier sometimes to it's it's just for whatever reason, there's an emotional uh there's emotional baggage there or our friends don't want to see us doing better than they are. I don't know what it is, but, um, but you know, understanding somebody comes to our community and we say, we get that. I understand my friends and family were a little critical of me too. And now I don't even have to offer a solution is all I have to say is I went through that too. And instantly you feel understood. I don't have to solve your problem. I don't, and that's what us were missing more than anything in this community. We think that we have to solve people's problems all the time. And one of the biggest things that we need to do is we just need to make them feel understood, make them feel like we understand what they're going through. That's empathy. At Venus, what would you add to that? Yes, exactly. I agree with you. You know, everything is energy. You have that connection, then you talking with another human being, you're exchanging energies between. And when you give something, they feel something, you know, that warm energy, and they are likely to believe in you because you, you make them like feel like home. And they, they will likely to open up and talk about their ideas, you know. If you have that compassionate energy, you know, you don't need to. I would just say, steal anything from people. No, just give that uh, good energy, you know, compassionate, like you say. And that yeah. comes through on video. It comes through on video, doesn't it? Yes. It does. It does. It comes through on video. And to me- some of you who are not talking at all in your videos right now, you're only posting, as you go you know, as you get more comfortable, as you get more courageous and and then maybe you go live and you begin to tell your story or even in short videos, you, you, man, it's such an opportunity. Uh, We could even do it with text. There was a fantastic, there was a fantastic video that was going around that Matt shared with me the other day. And it was, it was um, something that I see a lot of network marketing women are doing, but it's working. It's working. Um, and it really is just a, I'll actually show it to you right here. It's really a trending thing that's going around on TikTok, but check it out. I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violin sky. I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violin sky. I could be hurtful, I could be purple. I could be- now, do you see how she's telling the story through text? And she's doing it on top of a trending sound. Okay, she's doing it on top of a trending sound already on TikTok, but she's telling that story that I was just talking about, that Advenus is talking about, where you're showing empathy, but you're showing empathy through telling your own story. That's that's a great way to show empathy because you're opening up your heart and you're being vulnerable, and that that brings people closer to you. It doesn't push them away. It brings them closer. Let's watch the rest. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky, I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you 
Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Yes. It's just, it's, it's, it's just a, it's just storytelling. It's empathy, and and that is an example of it being done without even any words being spoken, just right there on text. And it looked like you were doing a lot of that too on your personal account, where you were telling your story and stuff on text. Are you doing mostly all text and music? Are you doing no voiceover videos, or are there some where you actually are speaking? Um, I'm actually using like that girl trending sound, the video that's going to inspire to to bring that emotional uh, fire, and that's what's working. You you can also do a, a video where you're talking. That's actually also good. But yeah. people like the entertainment, the music, the dances. You know the energy you are throwing. Yeah. That's what no. people like. They do. Uh, and that video that we just watched was, you know, there was music, there was visual. We were able to watch her and we were reading at the same time. Yes. And that's highly engaging, right? Because unfortunately with social media, human beings are a bit like drug addicts. Our tolerance has gotten higher. As with anything, uh, with anything, it's not just drug addicts. I mean, if you were taking any sort of medication or anything and you took more and more and more, your your tolerance would get higher. But, man, we've become like that with social media, haven't we? To where we just, it's like, it's like if it's not multiple things going on at one time on the screen, it's like it's not entertaining enough for us. <laughs> yes. Oh God, where are we gonna be in in another two years, Ed Venus? Where are we gonna be? You know what I mean? My God, yeah. I hope we're just all so rich that if it's crazy, we can just we can just check out if we want to. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just like I, it's crazy. I have. Do you have a, your prediction? Where the hell is the internet? And where are people gonna? What are we gonna be doing? And how are we gonna be interacting a couple of years from now? What do you think? Um, I think it's going to be a split uh, between the people who are stuck in the old patterns, you know, in the old corporations, you know, that stuff, fear, exactly. And people, uh, and another kind of people will be higher. They will experience more compassion, more, you know, spirituality things, more love. And exactly now, I think we are seeing that split in the internet also. You know, we have a lot of fear going on, but also we have a lot of compassion and love mm. at, the same ha at the same time happening. And people mm. are choosing the groups between the love and the fear. I'm seeing that in the internet right now. Wow, that's a very unique perspective. Very, very interesting. And you know what I love about that answer is that it had nothing to do with like a specific platform or a specific social media company. No matter what comes and what goes, what you just said will always be here, won't it? Yeah. There'll always be people who are, who are fear mongering and there'll always be people who are showing compassion and love. And I would say the same thing. I would say the same thing is true um, for this industry, right? There are people in this industry who claim to be teachers and gurus, but they are, um, you know, they are, uh, they're, they're, they're not compassionate. They're not, you know, they're, they're fear mongering. They're, they're, you know, they're fear mongering and they're, they're, they want to make you dependent. And I think it's really important to strive to be independent as a marketer and especially in this industry, because you are a freelancer, you are free. You can go and be an affiliate as you are for multiple, you are an affiliate for legendary marketer. Is this true? Yes, exactly. But we are just a, a, we are just one of the appetizers on your table right you're in and that's mainly because you're in multiple niches you're in the spirituality niche personal development niche but 
understand my friends that there's you need to remain free you need to remain free uh and you know that that is that is both a mentality and it also is in how we operate and so if we want to be entrepreneurs um and we want to be free people then you know both the mentality that we have which i love compassion love not fear mongering and, and and as well as the people that we surround ourselves with we need to be real careful um but also in the um kind of as your whole business philosophy right is 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 freedom independence not dependence any sort of business model that can create a a a, a prison a jail or or can um or others can be in control of your business somewhere in the future is probably not the smartest thing. For example, all of these drop shippers who had to shut down their business because they couldn't get their products from China and then they were sitting in ships and all this kind of stuff. So what do you think about the business model itself, the di selling digital products and of course, selling information, coaches, cor uh, uh, courses, coaching and events, and of course, being an affiliate marketer, selling those. Talk just for anybody who's new, talk about your perspective about the business model itself versus other physical product business models on the internet. I think the digital products, that's exactly what is going to work out in the next 10 years, 20 years. Yeah. Because people love that instant uh, results, you know, they want to buy and they want to get right now, not tomorrow, not next week, but right now. They want right now. And also people love knowledge. And because the more the more you learn, the more you earn. And uh, people want that knowledge, that coaching. And um, I think that's what's going to be in the next 10, 20 years. Digital stuff is going to blow up even more. I think we are in the early days right now because we are just starting yet, you know, you don't even know. know what's what's going There's on. There's not even any laws or regulations around exactly. this stuff. I mean, people really think that they're late. You know what I mean? It's 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 so early that there's literally no one even regulating the internet. I mean, these politicians and governments around the world, they don't I mean, people are innovating so fast they cannot keep up. So we are at the, the, the early stages. Um, I agree with that simply also because um, I do think, I, I think fear is always going to be there, unfortunately. And I think more and more people are, go fear, laziness, all that kind of stuff, whatever. I just think people are going to want to be at home more. I just think we've proven that. People want to be, they, they would prefer to buy at home. They would prefer to learn at home. They would prefer to watch movies at home. They would prefer to just be at home with their families, their friends, and access things digitally through their, their phone. Um, I'd like to ask you about spirituality and mindset in business. And in this business, what, what can you tell us about the importance of, as I call it, the dynamics not the mechanics. Everybody comes into this business thinking, just show me the mechanics. Just show me where to press, what to push, and what to set up. And and then, you know, the first time something goes wrong, you know, a lot of them will have a, a breakdown, not a breakthrough, because there was no, imp you know, they just thought, well, this doesn't matter. I'm not, I don't have to change or even pay attention to my mindset or my, my energy. You keep talking about energy. It's such a powerful conversation, but it's, it's, it's hard for me to understand energy if I've not really ever talked about it or had anybody explain it to me, or maybe I have great energy and I don't even know it. Right. I don't want to make people feel stupid either. Like they, like they're not capable of, of having great energy and all this, but I just wonder if you would say a little bit about the importance of those dynamics. What is, what is spirituality to you and, and how does it apply to your business hmm. yeah first of all i think we need to know that energy flows where attention attention goes always your energy flows where attention goes and uh, where you put your energy into 
it's going to grow no matter what you know it's easy to spot a red car if you're always thinking about the red car you know it's obvious <laughs> if if you always think about the opportunity you know you're going to see opportunity that's how it works you are putting that energy you know you're tuning into radio station mm. and you're saying bring me opportunities you're just asking the universe yeah and just wow you just get the opportunities because your radio station was tuned to that specific frequency and you get that exactly what you want sometimes mm. people uh, don't uh, you know they they don't observe the surroundings and they don't see the opportunities coming but if you uh, you know be more mindful and see what's going on you will see so many things in your space in your environment even in your house in your everywhere there are so many opportunities around you yeah and that's crazy that's golden age actually so you you become what you always constantly think about and here's a great example of that my funnel was not working right did a loom sent it to drew i ended up figuring it out on my own and just had him double check it practice brings confidence so glad to have the community here backing us priceless and the reason why i point this out and say this is exactly what you were just talking about was because you put the intention to have a working funnel and and you didn't just send it to somebody and just say oh well, i hope he fixes it this sucks i mean i'm sure he probably isn't going to fix it it's probably going to be you know this bullshit it's probably a scam you know i don't know i mean this stuff never works out for me anyways you know oh, oh shit yeah, yeah i mean right i mean that that, that you, it's it's so it may not be that dramatic, but come on. I mean, a lot of times our attitude is definitely on that side versus on the Jones said, hey, look, I'm going to figure this son of a gun out. I'm going to send it to Drew. Maybe he gets back to me. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's busy living his life. Maybe he meant to get back to me and just forgot about the message. Maybe he got COVID. Maybe he got hit by a bus. Please, Lord. I'm just saying, I'm anything could happen. I'm not going to sit around and wait on Drew to get back to me because I'm the one who's suffering if I wait. I'm putting the intention out. I'm going to have a working funnel. Whether Drew gets back to me, universe, help me out here, you know? And it's like, it's like, wow, that's energy. That's spirituality to me. It's like, and you know what? Here's the other thing I'm going to do. I'm going to figure this son of a bitch out, and then I'm going to go help somebody else. I'm going to help somebody else. Holy shit. You know, now I'm on to something. And to me, that's as spiritual as I can get. I mean, that's spirituality to me. I don't know about you, Venus, but I'm the kind of guy, throw the hat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Exactly, yes. Confidence hey. means, confidence means uh, to trust yourself. That's Latin yes. word, confidarius. Trust yourself. That's trusting in your power that you can do it by yourself, you know. Yeah. Be, be responsible of your actions and you're going Trust to win the big. universe you say you're spiritual the, those of you and here's my i'm gonna challenge some people see honey i gotta slow down i'm getting fired up up here <laughs> i gotta log off before i say something um you know a lot of people say they got faith at venus they got faith but when the times get tough and you know you can't set up your autoresponder your computer won't come on Man, that faith disappears. We got to have faith in all those of you, especially who say and you you say, I got faith. Show the world your faith. This is the time you can put your faith and your all that into action. Cause you know, we can talk about having a, a spiritual principle or we can talk about having faith or whatever. But if if you know those tools, it's like a watch, you know. I wear my watches. Be I don't let them sit in the safe because that's what they're for to be worn. Faith is there to be used, <laughs> right? It's not there to just sit in the safe. You know, it's there to be used. And um, and 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 wow, my intention. You said that earlier. The intention that I set is so powerful. 
How do I set an intention if I've never even heard of that before? What does that actually mean? And how might it, I apply it to this business? Uh, so if you, if some of the beginners starting out, they don't know anything about energy, all that stuff, intention. The first thing I suggest you to do is to do a vision board, vis, visual, visualization board. That's what's working, you know, I, even on your laptop, on your uh, phone, you can put the images you want, like vacations, the money you want, the, the, the girls, anything. And that's the intention. You're going to see that image every single day and the energy will flow into that uh, intention. You will see, you will pick up the phone, you will see the image. It's going straight to your mind, to your subconscious mind. And that's what you're going to manifest because the energy is flowing that way. You know, if you want a successful business, just picture how it looks like that intention. You have to be as specific as you can to put on that vision board. I think it's going to be, you know, so good. I personally did that and every single thing I did on that vision board it manifested every single thing. And I did that like two months ago and everything happened. I went to the trip. I went to the beautiful beaches, you know, everything. The sales was blowing up. So just uh, do vision board is going to be the best decision in your life. Yeah, look at it. Uh, you got to be looking at one of the reasons we do. One of the reasons we do um, we do. Um, masterminds in massive uh in massive mansions is because we want people to be able to um you know come and experience what it's like to live to hang out uh in a you know huge you know 20,000 square foot mansion with 20 ho uh, 20 bedrooms in it you know what i mean and uh and it's it's really cool it's really cool uh to come and to experience that to to hang out to not just drive by it but to actually you know come and uh you know come and hang out come in and you know actually just walk around and uh and and you know see maybe even swim in the pool, you know, I mean, this is the living room, you know, we're having an, an event with 50 or 60 people in the living room, you know, uh, it's a, this last one that we, that we did was a, um, was a, a three story mansion. And, and that's why we've done that. You know, that's why we've, we've done these events the way that we have is because we want to give people a chance uh, to come and, you know, experience something that you don't experience all the time because somebody out there is living that life. Somebody out there is, is living that way. And it, why not you? I mean, why, why somebody out there has a backyard in a swimming deck that 60 people could comfortably hang out on, but it's just one person or a small family that lives in the home. Why not you? You know, why do they deserve that and you don't? There's no reason. There's no logical reason, right? And it's not even that they deserve it and you don't. It's just that the, the consequences of their actions and the choices that they made got them closer to this or brought them here and the choices that I made put me in another place. I have everything that I deserve based on my choices, right? Unless you really, really had something that sets you back in life and, and those absolutely do happen. And, you know, sometimes it's obvious things and, and, um, you know, uh, <laughs> which, which, which is why I love entrepreneurship because anybody, no matter where, what your gender is, what your race is, what your, you know, what your, where you're at or where you're from in the world, you have an opportunity to earn as much or more as anybody else. Even if you're a young man, hanging out in litha frickin wania halfway across the world you can get on here and you can build a damn business of your dreams and then live stream to us all over the world from your room in lithuania and teach us how you're doing it what a freaking amazing thing right yeah 
It's really something, Edvina. Well, I, I appreciate your time today, my my good friend. And stay safe and keep up the fantastic work and keep uh, teaching and in, in, in spreading the value and the, the wonderful energy that you're and, and I love your your desire for growth too. I can tell. See, I am so fascinated when I meet people from different r- regions of the world. And it's likely, I don't know what life was was like growing up in Lithuania. But but do you think it was equal to better than or less than in terms of the things that you had in, in the materialistic stuff than maybe a child growing up in America? Is mm, Lithuania, would you say it? It, it depends, but I think uh, we, we are living in Eastern Europe, you know. It uh, back in the day it was Soviet Union, you know. Right. So right. so so the things were tough, actually, you know. Yeah. But there are no excuses that you can be in the same place, you know. You can grow no matter where you are in the world. That you know, you can you can grow wherever you want. I agree, and I see that. I see that. We see that all the time with people who come on the show, who you know, are, are, are not letting any circumstances hold them back. And sometimes our circumstances can hold us back when they're too comfortable, when we have too much, you know, because we get complacent and then, you know, something painful happens and then we act. Um, but acting out of gratitude and acting out of, you know, that I want to spread good energy and I want to, you know, I want to, I want to add value to the world is a much better, a much better reason to act than just because you have pain. Cause oftentimes if you're only acting cause you have pain, it might be too late. Um, but there's a lot to learn, uh, from people, uh, from me as an American, from people in different countries. Um, and it's one of the reasons why I love doing the show. Cause I get to meet people f- and hear their stories and see how they're living and building their business. And, and, and you, you've come in and done this yourself. I mean, you were going to succeed no matter what, whether it was me and legendary that you ran into or something else. And that's what I think a lot of people, we got to understand it's our responsibility to be successful, not the guru, not the teacher, whatever. As the student, I'm going to be successful regardless of my teacher or I'll go find the teacher that's right for me. We can't, you know, and I just, I know you would, you would be successful no matter what because of, of your drive and your intention and your motivation. So thanks for sharing that with us today, brother. Thank you so much for having me here. Amazing show. Love you guys. Hey, man. We're happy to do it. And uh, we, we love this. Love what we're doing. Love our clients. Love to talk to you. Love just that this is something I get to do every day. You know, that I get to do every day. I don't have to do this. I get to do this every day and it's the coolest job in the world. And any one of us that's here within this community can have the same exact thing in some way, shape or form. Um, And you can customize it to your own liking and customize it to your own life and schedule. And um, at Venus, you showed us a, a, a more advanced version of that today with multiple niches and multiple things, but it stretched us a little bit and it made us see what's possible and that we can do more and we don't even particularly have to work much harder, right? But we can have a bigger impact and do more. So thanks for that, man. And come back and see us again. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, buddy. We'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, my friends, there you have it. Now, Ed Venus, remember has multiple profiles, but the profitable underscore mindset, I believe is his personal profile. Um, no, no, that's Ed. No, that's profitable mindset on TikTok. Profitable underscore mindset. Um, he's got a, He's got a couple of them here. Uh, but profitable underscore mindset. Yep. And wealth coach Edwin is going to be some places you can connect with him and uh, follow him and and you know get involved and and just continue to learn from his strategies there. And then of course he's got the couple of accounts on Instagram too. I'll post those. Abundance underscore magnet and positive life secrets, all one word on Instagram. So there you go. You've got somebody with 
that's doing a few different, and he may even have a couple of other things he, he, you know, he didn't share and that's totally fine. Uh, maybe he did, maybe he didn't, but I can guarantee you he'll have more soon, <laughs> you know, cause this guy's on fire and he's not, you know, it, nobody's stopping him. Nobody's limiting him. Uh, he has a limitless, uh, vision and mindset, right. As you all heard. And so get on out of here. All right. I mean, wow. Uh, take some action. As my dad used to say, do something, even if it's wrong, for God's sakes, just do something. Okay. Today that gets you in the mode of taking action and, you know, and, and just get loosen those muscles up, loosen those fingers up. The, 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 the only, your eyes can't be the only muscle that's working, watching, training, and doing all that in, in this one. Here's the other one that's sometimes working is that little scroller or the thumb. That can't be the only muscle. We can't be scroliosis. Let's, let's make today matter, right? Let's make it matter. So what is the number one thing that you need to do today that if you did nothing else, it'd still be a productive day? Do that thing every day. Right. And it's likely revolves around something where you're filming something, speaking into something or writing something. Again, Papa Don said that a couple of months ago on this show. And I said, I can't say it any simpler than he just said it. So writing something, speaking something, filming something. Right. It should be one of those. Your top priority should always every day be some sort of a. Um, income producing activity. Okay. Income producing activity. Uh, that should be your number one priority every single day, period. All right. All right, my friends get on out of here. Great show. Thank you again at Venus. Really, really a pleasure, uh, and an honor this morning. And we will see you back tomorrow for another episode. Get out of here. Peace.